Hey Taurus, welcome back to the channel. And uh, we're gonna, today we're gonna do a super moon July reading for you and um, hope you're doing good. And um, go, thank you so much for uh, subscribing to the channel and uh, thank you so much for all your likes. I appreciate it. Let's go ahead and pull some cards for your current energy. Spirit, give me some Taurus energy. Taurus energy for July super moon. I'm sure that moon is definitely doing something to all the energies right now. I'm gonna go ahead and pull one more card for Taurus. All right, Taurus, I got the Ace of Swords in reverse. And the Ace of Swords is, is about miscommunication and Possibly you feel like somebody is lying to you. Hmm. Interesting. You got the Eight of Wands. And the Eight of Wands energy is uh, very, it's like a sudden change. And it's news, of course. Like surprise news, good news is coming. And uh, this is the time for you not to hold back. And uh, just be positive. Um... Also, I got the six of cups for you in the, uh, for your for your current energy, and that one's telling me uh, there's like some kind of innocence of and you feel child like energy right now. Um, it could be some kids around you that uh, is making you feel absolutely amazing, and uh, this is about simple pleasures of life, just being happy and playing with playing. Uh, with kids, getting that, playing games and having a good time. So we got the, uh, so we got some kind of, there is a little bit of, you know, um, some kind of communication lies that you're feeling somebody's doing that to you. And we're gonna find out a little bit more about that as we do uh, the energy reads around you. Let's go ahead and do that. And we're gonna go ahead and pull some Oracle cards in a minute, but Spirit, give me some feelers for the energy around Taurus at the moment. Taurus, energies around you. What do we got? What do we got? This one can come out. We have, oh, we got the Page of Pentacles energy around you. What's this one? All right, let's see what we got here. We have the Eight of Cups energy, and this one is about uh, withdrawal and, and it's a turning point of some kind. Some some energy around you is is boiling up to some kind of a turning point, and definitely the full moon is there, and that's the energy that uh, that you're getting from people, as if as if. Uh, there's some kind of move to a new of some kind. Somebody wants to influence you to, to do something new. Um, keep an eye out for that. And what it could be, it, it's, uh, we got the Page of Pentacles in reverse. And that one is about disappointment and uh, bad news. Somebody could be possibly bringing you some news that you might not, you know, enjoy. Um, and, uh, and the Page of Pentacles is also, it, it, it's very much um, to do with, it might be something like a, somebody might ask you for help with some, some money or something like that, or somebody around you it might be maybe like uh, having job issues or something. Um, and, and then I also have the eight, uh, eighth major arcana card, which is a strength card in reverse. And this one has the, you know, th this one, this is telling me that around you, there's, there's somebody that's trying to take advantage of you in a way, you know what I mean? And, um, and they're looking for the weaknesses that you have so they could work it to try to get a rise out of you. And, um, so look out for that and definitely, um, try to, you know, not have people, you know, try to 
try to manipulate you in any way whatsoever right at this time all right let's get some uh future energies um and advice from the old downs and spirit what advice do we have for taurus for to help with this situation and these feelings that, that are energies that are currently over here i got the ace of cups that's a very happy card Definitely a happy card here. And we have, we got some, whoa, somebody needs some help for sure. And you might be able to help them. Okay, uh, to to help with the situation and, and the outcome is, you got the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Cups is about, uh, it's about attraction. There's gonna be, you're gonna feel uh, an attraction here uh, in a few and 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 it might be somebody uh, that you met at at a family event or some place that you went in the in the recent past here and um, and this attraction is is something new and and it's it's full of a abundance that you 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 normally not see and so that's really good but i do see some um i do have a, i do have the uh the five of pentacles and the five of pentacles is um it's it's needing help somebody or the energies that's around you that is um is somebody who's around you is is abusing uh, they're, they're, they're the ones that are trying to manipulate you m might be turning around and wanting your help, okay? And I get the feeling that 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 they're using like a, kind of like a uh, an attraction um, to to come close to you and then and then basically needing your help in some way with this with this five of pentacles here. But you got also got the sun card. This is a very happy card um, for your outcome for all of this. And this is about just straight up happiness. Look at this person on a horse, just having a, a wonderful, um, happy feeling. And with the sun, you might be, um, you might be, you might be going out somewhere and maybe go, maybe going up to the mountains or to the forest to, you know, cool out and have a good time and just uh, feeling really very fortunate and and content with the the outcome of this um, and so basically um, knowing that somebody might be coming at you uh, asking for help um, but in a manipulative way um, you might want to look out for that and it and it's gonna be all good let me go ahead and Pull some cards from the uh, Oracle deck here for you and to see what kind of uh, further advice spirits got for you to um, to deal with this here. From the Taurus, Taurus spirit, what is the advice for Taurus? What is the advice? We're going to pick the top card here. We got Chance Fortune. Wow, that really wants to come out for you right now. There is a chance of fortune for you. Balance and karma. And I got one more here. I hide my feelings from you, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and pull one more. And this one is someone wants to be the boss, okay? So basically, um, I'm get, you know, Spirit wants you to know that there's a karmic person who wants, you know, this is about karmic lessons, this balance, there's gonna be balance achieved with justice in a, in a karmic situation. And I, I think this person's kind of bossy. This person wants to be the boss over you. And um, and they, you know what, I I hide all my feelings from you. I, got, I hide all my feelings from you. So uh, they might be, they might be in love with you, but however, uh, at the moment, I think that um, they're hiding their feelings from you, okay? And there's a chance fortune, a 
okay? So, and uh, that's the advice that uh, Spirit's giving you right now is, um, hold on, there's, there's a traction coming. Um, somebody definitely needs help, but just doesn't know how to say it because they're hiding their feelings for you, from you, okay? And uh, they're acting bossy. Somebody wants to be the boss, okay? And uh, balance and karma is a big one. Once you got balance and karma, you're definitely gonna get a chance fortune, okay? Justice. All right, Taurus, that's what I got for you this time. Hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope it resonates with you. And the uh, super moon, there's, uh, I believe there's four all together this year. And um, until the next one, I will see you in a couple of days with another reading. Hope you have a good week and I'll catch up with you. Take care, bye.